Welcome Sagittarian. All right, Sagittarian, I want to say thank you for being here. But thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support, Sagittarian. Um, wonderful. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, we see you have three major arcana, okay? Um, yeah, four major arcana, three major arcana, three major arcana. So, um, the energy with these major arcana, um, you have the, 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 um, the lovers. Now, the energy of the lovers is all of this about contracts, okay? Always about contracts, okay? This is link with the association of Gemini's and it's always about contract, okay? So this is um, important contracts, okay? I see personal growth and development is coming up for you, um, a Sagittarian. So it's good, especially a Sagittarian with Gemini um, as your raising sign. It's going to be a good, good, good. So if you are a Sagittarian with Gemini uh, moon sign, it's going to be good. So wonderful. So, um, this is going to be absolutely fabulous. There's no question about this uh, um, four weeks period. Um, and uh, as we look at this four weeks period, it's all about contract. I see the end is coming up for a contract. Um, the energy of debt is about transformation. A contract could be ending or contracts could be transforming for some of you, okay? So there could be some sort of a contract for you Sagittarians that is ending. The debt is the scorpion and its association with letting go, releasing and detaching. Okay, so obviously a contract is going to be ending for some of you or a contract could be changing for some of you. The ending um, is the contract for a Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. This is coming up as a Leo person. So some sort of a contract is going to be ending for a Leo person. Um, some of you Sagittarius had created some sort of a contract for a Leo person. It is going to be ending. They recognize that you Sagittarians are the one that has contract, uh, con, uh, that has created this contract for this, uh, um, young Leo person is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Some of you, um, is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and, um, your this contract is going to be ending because they recognize that you Sagittarians were the one behind creating this contract for these people. A cycle is going to be over for Aries Leo or Sagittarius. I see people are going to be standing their ground. So it's as if you Sagittarians had created and bring in um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius in a corporation institution personal officer is now looking at these people and said no we're ending this contract whatever personal officer have found out about these young people they are now ending this contract and is uh, recognizing how you have uh, created so much problem in order to create this contract and they're going to be recognizing this and seeing the truth of what is happening and transpiring. So I see ending to a contract that has transpired. Um, so an Aries Leo Sagittarius, uh, and they're recognizing that you Aries brought this person in a company. You are friends with these people. Um, and I see that you, um, Sagittarians are going to be having some sort of a problem and some sort of a hardship that is going to be coming in. But let's look and see what is transpiring. So this fire sign purses fire in fire, okay? Um, and this is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. Uh, yes, it is a hair of fire and it is earth of fire. So if it's a woman, it's earth of fire. If it's a man, it's air of fire. And whoever these people are, and however you have gotten and created some sort of a contract for them, Sagittarian, um, you know, you took them in some sort of a, a work situation. You took them in and now they're ending their contracts. Okay. Now we have the seven of ones and the seven of one is Mars in Leo. So, um, yes, again, Mars in Leo, a Leo contract, a Leo 
contract is going to be ended. A cycle is here for a Leo and their contract is going to be ended. The cycle is over for a Leo. Um, this Leo could be a friend who some of you have gotten a job for. Um, whoever this Leo is, they're recognizing how this Leo has gotten a contract and a work permit. And it was not based on um, regulations. And now they're recognizing this and they're going to be ending. You can see the cycle for a Leo is being ending. Seven of Wands, it is Mars in Leo. So Mars in Leo is about um, conflicts with a contract, with a Leo contract. And as you notice, this is the energy of death. Um, they are going to be ending this contract for you, Sagittarians, because you have created a contract for a Leo on the false pretense, okay? It's not this Leo's um, information or this Leo skills and knowledge is not based upon a contract that you created. So you could be an entered, uh, head hunter and you're trying to give a Leo and an Aries some sort of a position, but they were not skilled. They were not trained for. They have no experience. And I see that some of you Sagittarian is going to be coming in problems with a whole lot of companies because they're going to be re-evaluate contracts that you Sagittarians had created. They're going to be going back and re-evaluate contracts, people, permits that were work permits that was created, work permits that is offered. So I see um, a lot of you Sagittarians, whether you're a manager or whether um, you're someone that um, is a personal officer or so, I see that you're going to, they're going to be recognizing um, that some sort of a contract that was created was not created through rules and regulation and um, the proper um, process, but you have done this um, in order to give two people some sort of a um, lead way when they didn't have any experience and any knowledge of this um, uh, career part, okay? Um, a lot of you um, Sagittarians uh, could be ending this person contract, but it's also going to be having an effect on your friendship moving forward. So it is going to be, a, you're going to be having this um, or a decision to make, okay? And this is when people recognize who are managers and who are not managers. Because managers, if, if it's even your friend on the work floor, yeah, um, procedures is procedures, sorry, but bam, it is not personal, but we have to go through procedures, uh, procedures. So, um, you know, and that's when you know who managers are and, um, and that's when you recognize who these managers are and what is happening. So you're going to be definitely recognizing that, um, some sort of a contract is going to be ending and whatever this contract is and was that uh, was created um by you Sagittarians because it, it's coming up as end on this personal offices and on this people who got people in corporation that did not have the skill and knowledge I see that they're going to be recognizing that in the third week we have sun in Scorpio and the energy of the sun in Scorpio is having to do with understanding um, how to balance work and emotion. So you're, you're, you're balancing your professional and emotional life and you're recognizing I am at work, but yet still I am going to be emotionally showing my emotional side. So managers are going to be, you know, I'm at work, I'm a manager. So, but yet still, you know, I'm going to be showing emotional as if I care for my team workers and the people who I'm, I'm working with. So it's as if in that third week, you're going to be using um, your emotions and professional skills to get people um, moving and, you know, working in um, cohabitants and collaborating together. And this is going to be good. The fourth week, um, the earth signs, a whole lot of worries in the fourth week, a whole lot of worries. And 
the fourth week is Mercury in Taurus. Mercury in Taurus. Um, Mercury in Taurus, some sort of a communication, the fourth week. Um, and whatever this communication is that is coming at you, Sagittarius, you're trying to protect yourself. So where is um, it's coming up, okay? Um, where it is going to be some sort of a conversation, some sort of a meeting, some sort of a information that you're going to be getting in the fourth week. It's going to be recognizing that someone uh, um, is after you or after your position, okay? Or a promotion that you were open to have is not going to be coming to you. So some business that you were hoping to acquire is not going to be coming to you. So Sagittarian, you have to be really on the, um, you know, up, 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 up. The energy of Mercury in Taurus is that uh, and some sort of a communication is coming from your boss uh, um, in uh, um, the last week of this period. And there you are standing and protecting yourself from whatever this communication is, okay? So at, as you look at the energy of the end of the month is uh, sun and moon in Sagittarius. So uh, both sun and moon people are going to be affected by what is happening in this um, period. So Whatever is transpiring, both you, sun and moon people, is going to be affected with all the energies that is happening in this period. So you have to recognize both sun and moon risings are going to be affected and you're standing there protecting yourself, okay? So um, you are going to be resisting and looking for willpower in order to deal with whatever the communication that is coming from your boss, in the fourth week or in this month. So, um, you know, there is so much, and this is why I say I don't read cards, I channel. Um, you have to look at the energies. These are business readings. So these are done in different ways. Um, and you have to look at uh, what you're working with. All right. So the energy of, of the world um, is linked with Saturn. So again, Saturn is about discipline, bringing back discipline in organization and institution, okay? It's about enlightenment of individual, okay? And it's about overcoming and bringing a completion. And this is for many people, the ending of a major, major situation that was going on, okay? Meaning a new beginning, um, could be coming up for, for some of you, only for some of you. But as you recognize, a cycle is ending for a Leo. And um, the seven of ones, it is the energy of uh, Mars in Leo. And whenever the energy comes up with Mars in Leo, that means that there is going to be some sort of an ending um, a con um, confrontation ending, uh, you know, people are being faced with some sort of a confrontative, um, without comparison and people are now recognizing. So there is no question. A lot of you are going to be recognizing this. Um, it is inevitable that you, um, Sagittarians do not have uh, any power to make this changes, uh, to change um, what is about to happen is as if uh, it is what it is. It's as if this person um, has gone through their karmatic situation. You need to end this karmatic situation with this person. And I see um, the contract uh, um, uh, is ending because uh, um, whoever brought in this person and created a a contract for a Leo, it's, it's ending. I see that this is going to be causing you some sort of a friendship, uh, but it's hard, but it's a decision that has to be made. Okay, it is a decision that has to be made because your, um, um, your business is on the line. Whether it was an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, um, this contract is going to be ending. I see that this person is going to be in some sort of a hardship moving forward. Um, I see that you might lose uh, 
the friendship between you and this person. And I see that this person is going to be ending up in some sort of a hardship, but it is what it is. A whole lot of you young Sagittarian are being protected, so that is wonderful. So young Sagittarian at the workplace is being protected. You young Sagittarian people are going to be getting um, the push up the ladder whenever the Aries and Leo have, have left, okay? A lot of you Sagittarian um, are going to be feeling these energies because it is both for sun, moon and rising sign. Um, and uh, what is happening and transpiring is that some of you Sagittarian wants to um, try to protect the ending of this contract or this business agreement, but um, people are now recognizing and you're now recognizing for yourself, I got to save myself because something happened where you went too far and I see that now you're trying to be rebalance the situation and bring it back on course. So, Saji, I got to leave you here, but I do love you, Sagittarian. Um, please remember to uh, thumbs up, show your love by thumbs up as you want to see the energy um, and what is going to be coming out to this reading. You can see the extended on the other side. Um, check out what is going on. Um, you can join if you um, use the join button is $2.99 per month and you see all the extended that is there. These, biz these business reading are timeless, okay? And it affects you in different timeline. These are timeless. I do love you guys. Open to see you on the other side. If not, I'm saying namaste until next time.